Okay, let's get some bases going here. So let's create a base from scratch. If you're watching this, um, this video uh, out of the blue, so I'm making a series of short videos showing you how to create sounds from scratch. And I'm going to show you, you know, step by step what I'm doing. And I, I'll try and keep it simple. So um, for now, at least. So let's get, let's get some bases going. I have my init preset here, just, you know, clicking here, init preset, that's how it sounds. And what we can do is, first of all, we, we can select whatever, um, whatever uh, wave shape we want. We have so tooth, but I can have something else. Let's get sign. Sorry, I'm on oscillator two. Let's go to oscillator one and get a sign here. So that's the sound out of the box. And we know that we won't have a, a bass. So let's get that like, I don't know, maybe two octaves down. That's two octaves. That's very low. And I can engage filter one. And in order for us to, 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 to get it more um, full, and you know that it meaningful other than the fact that you can use that as a sub bass or something but we can add oscillator 2 and have it something else like a triangle and let's tune that also oh again that that should be a sign and oscillator 2 should be a triangle and we we can we can leave it here, you know as you know the tuning as it is but i can also have that let's say one octave down so i have oscillator 1 tune two octaves down and oscillator 2 tune one octave down and we can have a little bit of unison three voices or i don't know four voices That's very low. So we can also have our uh, filter just relaxed here. And maybe that's too, you know, too loud. I can have volume of layer one relaxed here. And let's go to our ADSR. So right now ADSR is controlling our voice volume. And I want to have a little bit of release here. And we can also add another um, oscillator here. And I'll show you, you don't have to do it. I mean, right as it is, that's, that's a nice bass, very clean. Right, it's very clean, very nice. And we can do a couple of things. First, we can go to layer two and add another whatever uh, oscillator. So right now we have Sawtooth. I can engage layer two and I can tune that, whatever, I don't know, two octaves down as well. Now, Sawtooth introduces much more frequencies. So if we just for a, for a second, have a look at the analyzer here. So look at this. So we have all these upper harmonics here and all these uh, frequencies. So we can remove those with a filter. And that, that's pretty much it. Now we can also add some unison to, to spice up the, you know, the, the whole feel of the sound here. And we can have a little bit of uh, release. And we can also have the attack time slower, meaning this sawtooth will come in slower into the sound. So 
that, that's pretty much it. Uh, and, and I can mix between those layers. Now, while we are on layer two, we can do something else. We can have, um, we can have, for example, some distortion or lo-fi. Let's have lo-fi. So I'm going to the FX here, lo-fi. And back to layer one, we can have a little bit of, you know, a little bit more of the highs. So that's another sound. Very deep. So now we can go to our preset and assign some of these uh, quick knobs. So for example, we can have the cutoff, right click, source, easy control, easy one, and that's our cutoff point. If I'm going to, to the preset here, we'll call it cutoff. And we can also have something else. Let's say we, we can control the spread of the detuning here. Right click, source, easy control. And let's see what that does. And by the way, we can go to our effects here and have wh whatever, you know, any of these, um, any of these uh, effects. We can have a little bit of reverb or maybe a lot of reverb. So that can be all, all also assigned to, uh, to an easy control. And let's go here effect amount so that doesn't tell us a lot of so reverb and that's pretty much it so I can I can play with that very very nice so that's another sound and um, if you like this video you know hit like and if you're not subscribed to my channel do subscribe I'm going to upload more and more of these very quick tutorials of making noise. So uh, stay tuned and see you soon. Bye-bye.